Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and while you're give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Quick little note before we begin, if you want to support my channel or support me, head over to my Patreon, I'll link it up there and in the description down below. So today I thought we could talk about mania. Now, there's two types of mania, hypermania and mania, and there's one key difference, and that is severity. Man hypermania lasts from one to three, four weeks. Mania lasts for months. Hypermania is something that is often treated in the community and doesn't require hospitalization. Mania, however, is pretty severe and can lead to delusions and hallucinations and often leads to a hospital admission. For me, I have bipolar 1, so I have episodes of mania. Today, I'm only talking about mania, not hypermania. So, mania lasts for an extended period of time. It's deeply distressing. So, what are the triggers of a manic episode? Manic episode triggers are pretty much down to the person. Some common triggers to be aware include a high stimulating environment, lots of noise, bright lights, large crowd, a major life change such as moving house, marriage, divorce, job loss, lack of sleep and substance abuse. What are the symptoms of a manic episode? Having an abnormally high level of activity or energy, feeling extremely happy or excited, not sleeping or only getting a few hours of sleep, inflated self-esteem, being more talkative than usual, talking so much and so fast others can't interrupt, having racing thoughts, being easily distracted by unrelated things, becoming obsessed and completely absorbed into one activity, showing impulsive behaviour that can lead to poor choices such as shopping sprees, reckless sex, foolish business investment. So there are just a few little facts about mania. In my experience of mania, now I haven't been manic that much, I tend to go into depressive episodes, not psychotic episodes, not manic episodes. For me depression is one of the worst symptoms I have, so mania is the opposite literally the opposite. But the last time I had a manic episode I remember feeling so great like I was on top of the world. I was convinced that I could make a big change to the world, that I had to get somewhere to donate my blood because it was gonna save everyone who's ill. I felt amazing, honestly. I felt like I was not like, on top of the world. Thanks for watching this video and if you're new subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.